Welcome back, YouTube, to a new episode, Fable Anniversary. Gonna step through the gate. It actually looks kind of unique here for the like for this part of the game. And then you step through, you immediately get a load screen. Jack has to be stopped. He's activating those rocks. Always thought they were damn ugly things. I don't want to die for them either. I guess we'll just have to kill them first. Come on, follow the path and turn right. What do I get for this? Not much. Who gives me 5,000 gold for this? And for this part of the game, you got, you know, a bunch of hostile enemies, a bunch of friendly people that spawn throughout the whole thing. It's pretty, it's a pretty cool little segment, honestly. Whatever he was doing, but the portal is still open. Follow him through. I'll stay here and teach these animals who Briar Rose is. This is really dumb. The way she's like, oh, I'll stay behind and deal with these undead that aren't doing anything anymore. It's like, what? If you want, you can actually stay and fight these enemies, like, along the way. And you can get a ton of XP out of it. Especially if you have a bunch of, like, red meat to eat. But I'm not going to do that. I thought you weren't going to make it. You'll never catch up with me. How do you like the new world? This is just a taste of what's to come, my boy. Just two more to go now. This is the one that's really good for XP. Not uh, this room, but uh, one of these rooms coming up. It's really good for XP. This room right here, um, undead will spawn basically forever. Maybe, yeah, yeah, this one, like, they spawn basically forever. And then there's also, I think this room is good, too. You, this is not the place. But we have yeah, I think this room is pretty good for XP, too. Oh, I can't one-hit minions, interesting. I thought I could. I think that's part of the heroic difficulty, because I'm pretty sure I should be able to. Only one left. You aren't making this much of a challenge. And now your flesh and blood is waiting for me. Too late. He must be at Headsman's Head. That's where everyone else was heading. You better go after him. And see, like right there, friggin' Thunder, coward, just sits there. The uh, -uh. uh, I walked through two load screens. It's so much work. I'm gonna sleep now. Like, are you kidding me? The world's about to end. Power through it, guy. You know? Down a five hour energy or something. Down four of them. Like, <laughs> you know? All the heroes you run into for this segment, they're just like, they're such babies. <laughs> Briar Rose stays behind for no reason. Like, ugh. 
Why don't we just attack these infinitely spawning undead for no reason? And then thunder. Wimp. Oh, I need to rest after not doing anything. Sweet Scarlet. I hope there is still some blood left in those hard old veins. But look, I don't think veins get hard. Supply. Are you ready to see the guild burn, hero? Stop him! Ooh. Oh, quest completed. Okay. Jack's done it. He's activated them all. You must get to the Chamber of Fate in the Guild. So there's some stuff to grab here. A uh, potion right here. Legendary oh, that's the only one there. You've received a new quest card. Because, like, there's no... Sh you can't visit a shop or anything, so they give you a couple items to help you kind of resupply. And, uh, base game, like, all these rocks stay there after you finish the game. So you can't access the rest of the guild. The only thing here is the um, the level up thing. There's nothing we could do. Can't even access any quests you had. Seen. And he has your mother and sister too. If either of them dies, Avo help us all. Stop him, lad! For all our sakes, stop him! Fight Jack of Blades. Twenty thousand gold. I'm not actually sure what happened. Ooh, okay. Right there, they give you an oak longbow because you need a bow. Oh, you can't actually leave right now. I guess it, like, they tell you you can't. I kind of thought, like, I don't know. I kind of figured it would let you abandon the quest, but... Makes sense that you can't. What a touching family reunion. The mother, the son, the daughter, and the sword. There's only one. Dramatic zoom in. It's your blood next. Then I will make this world burn. <laughs> yeah, okay, guy. Ow. Can I block that? I can't. Can my summon do something, maybe? Alright. Let's see how this goes. Oh wow, he just he just ate my uh my magic. That was rough. Holy shit. That was a lot of damage. Nice, I can't even see. Expect that to be able to connect. Right here, you need to stay behind cover. Um, I mean, well, I'm, I'm talking like this as a guide again. Um, but if you're not behind cover, you don't know, and you're out there for that like light attack, you basically you just die. Like. <laughs> It does so much damage, like, immediately that you might as well die. Like, let me see if we can do this, like, just, just those rapid, like, it's low damage, but it just hits you, you know, rapidly.
Oh jeez. Run. Oh shit. That was close. I almost died because of that stupid bow. I spoke of so long ago. Strike me down now with the sword of Aeons, and you will become as powerful as Jack dreamt of being. Cast it into the vortex, and its darkness will be gone forever. So what will you do, little brother? Sword of Aeons. The oldest of all the weapons, the Sword of Aeons was blood forged long before the Old Kingdom. Once unlocked, its power is the power of all Albion. You get a health, mana, and experience, experience augmentation. It's a very good weapon. Very good. Not really as good as they make it out to be. Original game, it was ridiculous. Because, um, basically, it uh, did 500 damage. Which is, I think, was the highest in the game. I don't think it's possible to get any higher. You know, like the Great Hammer. I'm pretty sure it's the same as its original damage. Um... 270. You know, the the Murren Great Hammer, like the next like the next most powerful thing was only half the damage. But um they nerf it in the lost chapters because the game progresses after that. I'm gonna cast it into the vortex. both where they belong now. Lost forever. It's time I found where I belong. I know it isn't here. Pretty good. The hero had triumphed over Jack of Blades and forsaken the dark power of the sword. When he stepped outside into daylight, the crowds cheered his name. He walked among them as a legend. As the months passed, the guild and its people would recover. Walls would be rebuilt and order restored. For Teresa, it would not be so easy. She retreated to distant lands where a lifetime of wounds might be allowed to heal. A whole year passed. With Jack gone, Albion returned to something approaching peace, and for once, the greatest of all heroes was able to rest. Hero, I'm sorry to disturb you, but we're receiving a message from Side, one of our oldest heroes. He left the guild for the Northern Wastes long ago, but now... Perhaps it would be best if you came to the boasting platform outside the guild and saw for yourself. So... Yeah. Check the guild for more questions. And actually, here's your mother, right here, buried. Kind of cool. You've they added her. Um. Yeah. Uh, so the original game, if you don't know, the Sword of Aeons did 500 damage, but the game was over right now. Like, the guild was unusable, the only thing you could do is spend XP, all the side quests were disabled, I don't have a weapon. And so, it, you know what I mean? It did 500 damage, and it didn't matter because it, there was literally nothing left in the game. But uh, in the Lost Chapters, they had to fix that because the game could continue, and they didn't want you to have them... You know, they didn't want you to have a ridiculously overpowered weapon 
for the entire game. So, yeah. They also added the um the Avos tier. An al you know, an alternate sword for people that go that are doing good. My mission here has failed. I will attempt to stop their passage to the mainland. But I require assistance. The strongest among you must open the primal demon door close to this podium. It holds the fire heart. Only the chosen one will gain audience with the prophets. Use the heart to call the ship of the drowned. Hurry before all is lost. Side? Side! Oh, we've lost him. Scorn! The demon door awoke this morning, but none of us could get through. It says we're not worthy. It is up to you, hero. Have you defeated Jack single-handedly? If it will not open for you... The man's got a point. I'll stick to my speciality and hit the books. We need to know what these summoners are. Good luck. So, uh, a little bit of a cliffhanger, but that's going to be the end of this episode. Thank you. Actually, no. No, it's not. Hang on. need to do one more thing. Um, I'm, I think I'm as good as I can get now. I might be wrong, but I think... Your choice of that quest makes you all the way good or all the way evil. So let me see. Physical shield, rank 5. Bam. And now I've mastered physical shield, which is cool. Um, I can't even take toughness or anything. Can't even take speed. I don't care about anything else. Leveling up lightning could be kind of cool. Physical shield max. Heal life would be good. Yeah, I don't I don't really know what else to spend my, my levels on. But yeah, that's going to be the end of this episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.